Come on, babies. He's letting me pick him up. I think this is flirting. Oh, you are so fat. Yes, you are. Ah, oh, I love you so much. Absolutely not. I have no interest in doing that, ever. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube video. I am sorry that I did not post over the last two weeks. We were dealing with some problemas, but those problemas have now been resolved. We are preparing for our new animal enclosure, which is arriving on Monday. I put all of these temporary enclosures up, but on Monday, we actually have a giant enclosure arriving. In that enclosure, we are gonna be putting the wallabies. So their enclosure is now gonna be used for something else. I know these are temporary, but I'm not gonna knock them down. Wood is expensive. We're gonna use them for different animals. I actually have two new animals arriving this month, and I'm currently deciding whether I should turn the wallaby enclosure into partially an enclosure for them or if I should bring the new animals home. But let me give you a tour of all of the animals and let you know what the plans are. Before I do anything, we rescued seven, no, nine chickens uh, over the past few weeks. And they have been in a dog kennel the whole entire time because we've been finishing their chicken run. The chicken run is finished today, so the chickens can finally escape prison. And we're gonna let them have a run around because they've settled to the area now, so they shouldn't escape. Okay, chickens, come on. Are you coming out? And then we have our two little roosters over here who are also rescues, but I have a feeling that they keep fighting. So this guy right here is supposed to be called Dotty, but I think he suits the name San Pedro. So I'm gonna put him in with the girl chickens and see how he reacts because they keep fighting and he might enjoy it. They might get a little randy. Oh, I think this is flirting. He's like, that is a lot of hens that I can have woohoo with. Okay guys, so now the chickens have been let out of jail. For some reason, the roosters have both just gone in with their hands and no one wants to leave. They have the whole area to run around in if they want. And we are just finishing the actual chicken run. It's nearly done. It will be finished today. We have a roof on and everything like that. So they can go in there today. No more kenneled chickens. Now I am going to go and check on the goats. Uh, and I'm also gonna let the goats out. They can run around with the chickens. Even though the goats just cause mischief. The goat house was also looking great, but the wind has really done it some damage. I mean, it's still standing. It's pretty secure, but I think we may actually just be making a fenced enclosure for the goats because I don't think this one's going to stand up with the winter. Good morning, goats. Uh, let me get my key. Come on, babies. You can run around with the chickens. Yes, you can. Enjoy yourself. This guy right here has got so fat over the past few days and I think it's because in their last time they were- What is she doing? What are you doing? I think in their last time they were maybe starved a little bit so they've been chomping down grass as much as they possibly can but look at his big belly. Oh, you are so fat. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So I'm up here for the most part of the whole entire day. So the animals are just gonna run around and do their own thing. Here are our beautiful wallabies. I said this on my TikTok the other day, but Jessie over here is a female wallaby and she has been in with the men her whole life. So it's very likely that Jessie could actually be carrying a baby. So I'm really hoping to get an animal pregnancy test and do a test on Jessie to see if she's pregnant. Timmy, have you guys been busy yet? If you guys would like me to make a video about doing a pregnancy test on her, make sure you let me know. And I'm really hoping we have joeys. And just, just to let you know, guys, I would not be selling any of the babies that are born here. I would just be keeping them for us. I know some people said, that, oh, you could be starting a breeding establishment. Absolutely not. I have no interest in doing that, ever. I'm gonna leave the wallabies to it. They're all busy over there. And now let's go and check on the foxes. Hello, Pongo. Hello. Oh my gosh, Pongo. I can't believe he can actually climb up this whole thing. Look, hey, come on, come up here. Hey, Pongi. Are you okay? Yes. And look, this is Rosa right here. Her and Pongo have actually started to settle in with each other a little bit better. And Pongo has finally let me start picking him up again. He gets a little bit aggressive, but not really. He actually started to enjoy it. So I'm going to try pick him up. He's letting me pick him up. Yes, you are, baby. He's so, so cute. Mwah. Can you say hello, everyone? Hello, everyone. My name is Pongo. Mwah. This is happy crying, by the way. Foxes make that noise a lot because 
Rosa and Pongo have been screaming at each other so much, but it doesn't mean they hate each other. It's just a sign of territory. They're very vocal animals. You want me to cuddle you? Rockabye, baby, rockabye. <laughs> You. Yes, you are. That's the end of cuddle time for me. What are you guys doing? Huh? What are you doing? Are you waiting for your food? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. What did you do? Also, the foxes have been digging here. So they dug through the chicken wire, but they're not digging outward. They're just digging down and then hiding food here and covering it back. So I'm going to get something to actually cover this, like some concrete or some clay. Bongo, why are you eating me? No. This is why you shouldn't wear sheepskin. Not sheepskin, but wool um, in front of foxes because they think you are a yummy tree. Oh, you are so cute. Yes, you are, Pongi. Yes, you are. I love you so much. Okay, guys, chicken house is now complete. So we are moving the hens and the roosters into here. The roosters are like not very nice to the hens because they are horny. We're gonna have to build them a second little run. <laughs> okay, we got this one. This one is called Queen Cleopatra. Oh, sorry, baby. There we go. You all right, Daisy? Daisy the chicken. This one is called Desert Beige. Violet. Violet. We're still working on taming them because they did just come from a random farmer guy Yay. who was selling them at the market. They're still very sweet. Look at you, We have Ginger. acquired the last chicken and we're now gonna put her in the new home. It's actually a really great size as well. And we're probably gonna end up with a few more birds, but this is just for the nighttime, and then they'll run outside. Um, but we're gonna put some shelves up so they will have their own little nesting boxes. And then we're obviously gonna put some wood so they have a ladder. This is a big amount of space for such a tiny amount of chickens. So what other birds do you think we should get? Because we can have peacocks. We put everything on our license. We're gonna get ducks as well. Me and mum have always loved ducks. Also guys, what do you think of mum's new hair? She got it done, dyed, and it looks very pretty. <laughs> yes, model. Wow, Yes, girl. queen. And now we need to get rid of all of this because we're gonna actually make these suitable for our dogs. We're gonna put rubber mats down and bedding so that while we're up here, when we yeah, can't keep yeah. an eye on the dogs, the dogs can be up here. And our apple trees have started growing pretty well as well. They have these little buds so that they're gonna grow more apples. And then we also have more gravel here which we need to flatten out, but we don't have any machinery. One more thing is that we had an instant garage right here, which was covering everything beside the caravan. So this looks like such a mess because the whole garage blew away, but we're finding a means to fix that. Other than that, all is going very well. Look at the little goats. Hey babies, I love you. Oh, and another problem guys is that we had uh, stables delivered, but we still haven't put them up. And we really want to get these put up because we need room for the animals. Anyway, the chickens have been freed from jail and um, I am now going to go and have some breakfast. We need to clean this camper van up. I really want to convert this into something. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Like I want it to be like a little animal center um, where I can keep my reptiles and stuff because a lot of my reptiles are still at home. So if you guys have any ideas for this, please let me know because it's a good enough space and we can always buy another one. Or I could turn it into a monkey house. I don't know. Tell me, tell me what you think. I'm gonna go now. I just wanted to check in with YouTube before I pay, make my video on Monday when the enclosures arrive. Yeah, that's all from me for today. I have new pets arriving this month, so stay tuned for that. And I will try my best to be as active on here as possible. But there's your little update. And I'm super excited to show you everything else I have planned. Okay, goodbye. Oh.